Let's say that you're searching for flights, and Sun Country shows up as the most convenient option. It's not going to happen all that often, as they don't have much coverage here in the US, but when it does, their low fares are really hard to beat. Then the question becomes, do you stay cheap and stick with the standard seat? Or do you go baller with what they refer to as the best seat? I'm going to show you both in this video, along with my personal opinions and recommendations. And as always, huge thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Hey everyone, Scott here from Sandspotter.com, kicking things off today from Terminal E at the Boston Logan International Airport. So here's the deal. I'm flying from Boston all the way to San Diego today on Sun Country Airlines. Boston to Minneapolis will be the cheapest, most basic seat that Sun Country has to offer, which is officially referred to as the standard seat. Minneapolis to San Diego will be in the premium seating option, which they officially refer to as the best seat. And I'm just going to warn you now, choosing to call the best seats premium is a slight exaggeration on my part. Before getting to the meat of this video, I need to tell you about what is basically the best VPN of all time. Surfshark. It just wouldn't be a sand spotter video without it. I tell you about it in every video because it's easy to use, incredibly secure, and I like the fact that once I set it up, it runs totally in the background doing its thing without me even noticing. Surfshark is worth mentioning over and over <laughs> and over because it allows you to browse the internet privately so no one can see or steal your data. It will allow you to change your IP address to prevent tracking from one website or app to the next. It'll block ads and malware if you ask it to do so, and it's great for traveling because it'll protect you from sketchy Wi-Fi networks you might be hopping on and off of during your trip. Anyway, once you try it, I'm convinced that you'll like it and start depending on it as much as I do. The easiest way to do that is to use the link in the description below. And if you use the promo code SCOTT during the sign-up process, Surfshark is going to give you 83% off the cost of a normal subscription, plus an extra three months thrown on top of that for free. That's worth mentioning over and over and over again, right? Just be glad that I never talk about my interest in third-generation Camaros. That would get annoying, quick. Yep, Terminal E is the home for Sun Country Airlines here in Boston. How they ended up sharing gate space with world-class airlines such as Swiss and Qatar is beyond me, but I'll take it because most of this is pretty nice. My flight to Minneapolis is going out of E4 today, and it looks like there's an Allegiant flight to Florida going out of E5 at nearly the exact same time. The funny thing is that the announcements for each are overlapping each other, and it's complete chaos, so this is already getting off to a lively start. By the way, I ended up with a Zone 1 boarding pass for this flight, which I assume was because my upgrade to a better, I mean best, seat for the second half of my journey today. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty much what I was expecting. These are definitely ultra low cost economy seats, tight leg room and all. Come to think of it, Sun Country might have been slightly too optimistic or generous referring to these as standard seats. Although there are USB power outlets here, which I didn't expect to see at all. The stains on the other hand aren't surprising though. Looks like we've got some old chewing gum here and what looks to be blood, maybe? And of course there's gunk on the ceilings. Why wouldn't there be? Whatever. For the price that I paid for this seat, which wasn't much, I can deal with everything that I've encountered so far. And now I just need to get the last bit of b-roll that I need for the video. Dang it. Yeah, 
In summary so far, these standard seats are exactly what I thought they would be. They're really thin, the leg room is abysmal, and the wear and tear on them is, let's just say, notable. They did manage to get us pushed off the gate right on time though, and for now, it seems that I won't have to worry very much about making my tight connection in Minneapolis. Things could definitely be worse. Of course, it'll be two and a half hours over to Minneapolis, and I have no idea what the in-flight service is going to be like, so let's just hope that I'm not suffering from premature optimism. Okay, I've got two full flights to cover in this review, so let's just get right into it, starting with the in-flight entertainment. That's right, I said it. Real, legitimate, in-flight entertainment. Seriously, I wouldn't have believed it either if I didn't try it out for myself. And you know what? I think this automatically bumps up the overall value of the standard seats. Then again, high-quality in-flight entertainment isn't going to do much to make this a more comfortable experience. Did you know that drinks are free in these basic economy seats? I didn't, which was another reason why I was already starting to question whether or not paying more for a premium seat on the second half of this journey was even worth it. I didn't even care about the suspicious bacteria on the tray table. Anyway, I went with a Diet Coke today, but you beer drinkers out there will be happy to know that there are some Minnesota-based brews on the menu that looked really good. You're really going to have to want it though, because none of it looked cheap. So that's pretty much what the Sun Country Airlines standard seat experience is like. I'll show you what the premium seats are like in a moment, but it's worth saying that, despite the mysterious stains on the walls and ceiling, I think I got exactly what I paid for, and more. Yeah, <laughs> the seat kind of sucks, and the lack of legroom is going to be torturous for anyone under six feet tall, but I will say that the in-flight entertainment was a really nice unexpected perk. I wasn't even expecting a free beverage either, so that just makes it even better. And on that note, welcome to Minneapolis. Hold on a second. Before getting to the premium seats, it's worth saying a few words about Terminal 2 here at MSP. Basically, <laughs> it's basic. It is nice though. Maybe cozy is a better word for it, but it's a decently fine place for a short layover. All right, here we go. On to part two of this Sun Country Airlines review, which is going to be an in-depth look at what they call the best seats on a three and a half hour run out to San Diego. The best seats, their words, not mine, are truthfully named since it is the best seating experience that Sun Country Airlines offers these days. Remember when Sun Country Airlines had a real first class product? I do, and this ain't that. At least they're not trying to sell this as a first class experience. They make it very clear at the time of booking that this is the same basic seat as what you just saw in the first part of this video, but with a little extra leg room. There are some other little perks as well, which I'll show you once we take off, but for the most part, <laughs> this seat is already hurting my lower back just as bad as the last one did. Yes, my back already hurts, but as we're pushing off the gate, it only feels natural to recommend this over the standard seat. Being in the first boarding zone was really nice, but more than anything, even more than the added legroom, I like being seated near the front of the aircraft. Not only does it mean that I'll be one of the first off once we arrive, I'm also going to be one of the first to be served at snack time. Of course, it also means that I'm going to be one of the first to die <laughs> when we plow into the front range of the Rocky Mountains at 600 miles an hour, but that is a risk I am willing to take. Yep, 
Yes, it snows in Minnesota in March and April. Sometimes early May, too. It is beautiful, though, and I'm just glad that I got to see it before the spring thaw. Speaking of seeing things, the inflate entertainment here in the best seats is, as you might expect, exactly the same as you saw in the standard seat portion of this review. Nope, they don't give you any extra perks such as free Wi-Fi or messaging, so it's no better or worse than it is in the cheap seats. I mean, cheaper seats. Fact. The best seats are for those of you who like a free snack to go with your free beverage. <laughs> yeah, this bag of pretzels caught me off guard just a little. I didn't actually think that Sun Country served free food to anyone anymore. It's not much, but it's also not much to complain about either. I highly recommend bringing your own food if you're gonna need more than just these pretzels. One of the questions that I always get, no matter if it's a review of business class or economy class, is how good or bad of an option it is for anyone over six feet tall. I'm five foot ten, and I had just enough room to cross my legs without it being awkward, so do with that information what you will. Is it easy to sleep in these seats? <laughs> of course not. I don't think it'll ever be an issue though, even on longer cross-country flights such as this, mostly because no matter what time of year it is, the scenery is just going to be too good to sleep through. So. After flying all the way across the country in both a standard seat and the best seat, which one do I think is the better deal? I think, and I know this might be a little bit controversial, but I'm going to have to go with the standard seat. I'm not tall enough to feel like I need the extra leg room, and the free snack isn't something I just gotta have. And yeah, okay. Being seated near the front is a nice benefit, but if I'm not in a rush to get off the plane, saving a few dollars and going with the standard seat seems like the right move. <laughs> I know that sounds hypocritical, or at least off-brand, coming from someone who flies around in business and first class all the time, but not every travel experience has to be epic. Sometimes it's just a lot more fun to be a total cheapskate. Anyway, that's all I've got for you this time. Hope you enjoyed this little comparison video, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.